SK. Hola, greetings. Greetings, everyone. So, in this video, I'd like to do more of a formal video, uh, stay in one place video, and just address you all. Um, I'd like to talk about really what I learned or what I gained or, or what I received from five years plus of being nomadic and a traveler and in to relate that to where I am now in my reality and you know my mindset then and my mindset now or what has even started to evolve or change and what beliefs and ideas um, I have accepted to be true in the past and now I've removed certain limiting beliefs and also kind of what I'm using to my advantage now from just life and experience okay so I just like to say uh, if you've seen any of my videos or you know have tuned in at all I don't usually share too much about like my personal life experience I more so share just what actions or uh, or I address certain topics but they're not necessarily about you know exactly what I'm experiencing on a unique level of my reality so I'm, I'm not gonna get too into that detail but I will say that uh, So, who I am now and who I was, I started traveling, you know, 2018, 2019, and part of me feels like the reason I you know, went out on this great adventure was obviously to seek more out of life, to leave the standard routine of the nine to five America corporate mentality and reality, to discover my abilities, gain new skills, live off grid was a big one, you know, alternate alternative ways of living you know that was really the basis off-grid alternative ways of living and just going with the flow right and also I will say that nothing I did or I do or even that you do for the matter is right or wrong okay so I'm not speaking in polarity and comparing myself to this or to that I'm simply stating what my experience was, okay? So if we can do that, if we can allow ourselves to have our own experience without judging it as good or bad, right or wrong, then possibly some information may be revealed from that if we're not judging our experience. And I see that you know, judgment can work both ways. So we can judge ourselves and we can also judge the reality and the people around us. And most of the reality operates off of some sort of judgment, um, division, decisions, and conclusions. Again, this is just what I've ex experienced. So, 
Um, so when we're operating from that state, it's a very subtle energy, but when we're operating in this way, um, you know, our, our vision is distorted. And when our life's vision is distorted, then we make certain choices or in this case, I will say decisions because decisions sounds a lot like division. All right. And this is another thing that I share in, in, and I enjoy is really the words that we speak, the words that we're saying, and their etymology or the origin and study of those words. Right. So instead of saying decisions or division, right, we can say choices. So we're making choices as opposed. So choices is more of a vibration of, you know, choosing, right? So you're giving yourself the energy, the empowerment feeling to choose something. When you have to make a hard decision, um, most of the time you're even dividing yourself. You're splitting yourself in half in half again, in half again, in half again, because you don't feel like those decisions are actually a contribution, but you're making them out of, you know, need or necessity or um, circumstances and or problems or things like that. When we make choices, it's more of an empowering state where we're acknowledging you know where we are who we are and we're also aligning with that situation idea and belief and then going in a way that'll be to a benefit to us the people around us or the people we are with or the environment we're in when you make a decision you're actually coming farther away from what it is that you would like to choose okay because you're doing it based on the mentality again of um, small or contraction and not necessarily um, based on expansion um, so yeah there's that and uh, I do like giving you the full thing as opposed to just a little bit so everything else i say will kind of lead to the next thing and you know we'll form a nice little you know dough ball and put it all together and bake it uh i have a few notes that i'm just glancing over all right so In these five years of, you know, traveling and putting myself in various uncomfortable situations, um, because they were at the time, there was many times where I was kind of looking around, like, what's next? What do I do? Who do I do? Who do I am? Who I am? Or what will be? You know, all these things. Um... I learned that I can do hard things. That, you know, I can choose the harder path. And again, this is all a matter of perspective because when you choose to do something hard, right, you actually are now gaining some sort of strength or benefit from that whether it's physical or mental or emotionally if you can choose to do the harder thing it'll actually become easier <sighs> see who who has ever told you that see most of my life i was looking for the easier path right go with the flow right i'll just let it be you know uh, it 
you know, let go, let let uh something else take the wheel, right? So some higher power, whatever. Uh, and I and I smile and I laugh because. I think a lot of what we believe, especially in this uh, spiritual age that we're in, where you know a lot of people have had quote unquote awakenings, or they're seeking an alternative lifestyle or alternative uh, path, or some sort of relationship to what we're gonna the G O D, which is not what you think, because if we look at the words, you know that's a whole nother story. And perhaps another video. Uh, so anyway. When one has some sort of awakening or a false awakening. Uh, you know, there's this, ah, uh, oh, I can, ah, uh, you know. Just let, let, let the universe handle it. And I'm not saying necessarily that it won't because there wasn't a day that me or or my lineage, the child and the, and my partner, there wasn't necessarily a day that we didn't have, you know, water or food um, or substance or supplement or, or you know, there were, we were always taken care of and provided for, like, whether through our means or other people or the environment. You know, receiving all types of different um, things. Um, but well, what I'm saying is, uh, when it comes to choosing something, okay, when it comes to choosing. You can make the harder choice. Because the harder choice, in the end, or as a result, will make you more fortified. It'll make you more stronger. It'll make you more able to adapt and, you know, receive impact or receive... Um, You know, what what is it's almost like like an armor, okay? You start to get strong. Now I'm aware that everyone has a different perspective, but again, I'm. Of course, you can do the easier things in life. For me, traveling is very easy. Making it work is very easy. Um, Adapting to different environments, that's easy. Okay, that's something I've learned to do over the years. It's just to move in very uh, unique environments. But in those experiences, I was not taking care of myself. I was not training. I was not becoming stronger. I was not becoming better emotionally I was just choosing to not take responsibility I was not responding I was reacting So when you are not able to respond, right? Because responsibility is respond and ability. It's your ability to respond as a congruent, you know, harmonious being. Again, then if you're not that, then, you know, you're... Opposite, which is irresponsible or you know not able to respond you're reacting like a child that has no sort of emotional intelligence um, whether through neglect or just hasn't fully developed yet but there's uh, 
away. It's very easy. Okay, what I'm saying here is that it's very easy to re react. Okay, somebody, you know, walks into you. Hey, 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 what the heck? Were you all right? Whatever. Why are you pushing me? Whatever. Now, somebody bumps into you and you... Oh. Hey, like, you all right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You know, like, so, there's the, ah, and there's the, ah. You see? <laughs> all right, so sometimes it's very easy to just be like, ah. And it may be a little more hard or difficult or challenging to just, ah. You see what I mean? So what what is our idea around hard? Because once you start taking those, you take that first breath, which is the hardest, right? The next one becomes a lot easier. All right, so... what we perceive as hard or difficult or challenging actually conditions us to be able to withstand more of that. There's like this idea that, you know, when life gets very difficult or that it will always be like that. Just always be so hard. And a lot of people are choosing that, right? Because that's that has become what they become used to. You know. Now, what if? What if? Life doesn't become easier. What if you just become? stronger and you become more you condition yourself to be able to handle the circumstances that you're living in or the people that you're living with or the neighborhood that you're living in what if Instead of complaining that your life is so hard and so uncomfortable and, you know, you hate this or you hate your job or you hate getting up early. So what if you just start to choose to finally adapt? To your unique situation and scenario and when you start to do that your body becomes resilient you grow a layer that can now read and readjust and then do it again right it's just like push-ups it's a repetition the more you do stronger you become the more you complain the more irritated you'll become the more you stop talking when it's not required for you to talk The more you can find relaxation and more peace, silence in your mind. So that's what I'm acknowledging and introducing here, okay? Uh, For 
five in more than five years I thought I was living in a conscious way right I was awakened right I was uh, you know at the height of my consciousness right and uh, I thought I was in the best place and that everything nothing could go wrong but the whole time <laughs> everything eventually didn't last because there was no nothing to stand on no foundation I was just high off of the illusion that I had it all figured out and I'm not telling you to not go and travel and you know do amazing things like for me it was necessary it was all part of my life experience to gain wisdom I'm not here to tell you what to do or how to do it I'm here to ask you and tell you hey what else is possible what limitations do you have about yourself, about what life is, about what life should be, about what your life should be. And what does it look like if you hold on to that for the next five or ten years? And you start to feel that. And what does it look like if you let go of that? That feels much lighter. So everything in the way of you living your authentic life and not being so swayed and controlled by, you know, people, places, things, circumstances. Okay. And we can let go of all that and start to choose, not decide, but start to choose what is actually going to grow going to expand going to sustain itself see I've helped many people over the years specifically as a handyman as a volunteer living off grid um, and alternative ways of living I've gained many skills in that arena of life, okay? Uh, and I, I dedicated myself to helping these people. And most of the time, I'm going to say four out of five times, I did things for people that they couldn't do themselves, that they weren't physically able to do, they didn't have the time to do, they didn't have the mentality to do, they didn't have the emotional discipline, they didn't have discipline to do. Okay? And there I come and I do it for them. And four or five out of time, out of four out of five times, you can feel, okay, that it's not even gratified, like it's not appreciated, it's not acknowledged. Deep within, it's not. On the surface level, it's oh, thank you so much. It doesn't actually, I've realized <laughs> that it doesn't actually change that person's scenario it may on the outside you know, I build them a little kitchen or a little compost area or renovate this or renovate that now on a surface level yeah oh it looks great 
but there's still a major issue and problem there within the, the psyche or the makeup of that being. And I, and I found myself doing, giving all of my energy to these things with no reward. People are like, oh yeah, you know, come stay in my land and I'll give you somewhere to stay and food. Like if that's not a basic human thing, like if like if you don't, you don't just deserve that, <laughs> like if that's something to barter and change with, like I did that for five, like that's that that doesn't make the world a better place. That actually gives the opportunity for people to have free labor, and then people actually don't even value themselves because they think that oh because I'm traveling. And, and I can stay at this place and I just work and then they have certain expectations like if you're on the books <laughs> like if like if like if you, like if it's a corporation they treat you like that because that's the mentality that they lived in okay so it's crazy to me like people be like oh I left the matrix you know, I'm going to this place. I'm going to. I'm going to Portugal. I left the Matrix. I'm I'm going to, you know, uh, I'm going to Costa Rica. I le I'm leaving the Matrix. Oh, I'm going to Ecuador. I'm leave like, okay. The Matrix. Is everywhere. And it's mostly now in the minds of people. So you can be living off grid. You can be living alternative lifestyle. Okay, you can be living whatever in a city and be more aware of your choices than someone who is off grid. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this and cut through that illusion that you have to be somewhere specifically in order to have a fulfilling life. Now, of course, I have built many gardens over the years, okay? I've grown a lot of food. I've worked a lot of animals. I've done it for myself. I've done it for others. So I'm not saying that that's not a, a great way to live because me personally, I just found myself constantly helping people and at some point I realized that I don't have any of these things. I don't have any of these tools. I don't have a plot of land to call my own. You know, I, these, these aren't my chickens. These aren't my animals. Um, I'm just doing it for other people. I spent all this time and I still have to figure out a way to get this for myself if I would like to live this way. So that's where we're at right now, right? It's like, is helping other people helping you? That's something we all have to figure out within ourselves. So, yeah, you can do hard things. Things that will actually benefit you in the long run. Things that are easy also can be beautiful and amazing for that moment in time that you're living. But nothing is just on the surface level, okay? Things are not what they appear to be.
people are not always what they appear to be. Places and communities and circles, they are not always what they appear to be. think just because someone has a certain status or a certain amount of money or a retreat center or um, you know a lot of land or an eco village or a farm whatever okay do you think that automatically automatically makes them a fulfilled person? Someone who's willing to actually help other people? No. <laughs> it's not. Sometimes those people are the worst kind of people that will, you know, make you feel small so that they can feel big. They will make you, you know, work just so they can feel like they're in charge. Okay, like, not everything is as it appears to be. Okay, it's just like hanging out with one person is much different than living with one person okay if you ever had that experience where maybe you have a friend or whatever and they need somewhere to stay for a couple or whatever and you start living with them and you're like what the fuck uh. <laughs> okay so unless someone is actively aware and dealing with their own shit and they make that known you know what I mean most of the time their life is crazy too like bro the social media obviously I can get on here and look how I want you know talk how I would like and this and you know people will only show you what they feel is good to show you so what I'm here to do is uh, to talk to you about how to be more aware in your life living and reality to be able to navigate and have a beneficial contributive experience that is not only temporary but also fulfilling and nourishing within yourself there's a lot of places and spaces that we actually do not have to be in and we choose these things. We choose. There's many interactions that we don't have to have. Okay. But we choose to. Or we decide to. Because of the fact. That. You know. We feel obligated. Or we feel like. This or like that. Or like that. But those are just. Illusions. Piling up. And making you choose things that are going to take you farther away from your goals I did that for a long time so I'm here to tell you you could choose differently no matter your age where you live where you're from your culture you can make choices and see what your life would be like if you choose that thing and if you don't choose that thing. And then you actually acknowledge yourself, who you are, and how you can move forward with a plan and then take action. Because this is like real 
life, right? And it's not just fairy tale all the time. It's not just dress up all the time. It's like, what am I doing here? And what sort of contribution am I? What kind of impact am I having? And especially if you have children, um, what am I creating for the future? Okay, well, we touched on a lot. So a quick, <clears throat> a quick clearing. All the unconscious, anti-conscious, energy fog, disinformation, cloaking, word and keys commands, booby traps, covert, unseen, unacknowledged, undisclosed energies and frequencies surrounding all of these topics that I have brought up and shared with you today. I just detach that from our body, put in a power encapsulate it and do we choose to release let go and allow all of that to be removed from our reality now that yes i choose that <laughs> out 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 <sighs> manage vanquish manage vanquish shrink that pound to less than nothing <sighs> pow, 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 pow. okay so that's what i have for you today Obrigado.